the previously resected right lobe is decreased in size and has two hypochogenic areas. Such discrete lesions are common findings in operated thyroids. A cystic nodule occupies great part of the left lobe. The lesion has several cystic chambers, therefore this is a spongiform type cyst. Note the presence of numerous comma tail artifacts. Now we locate the lesion in the center of the field of vision and start with the aspiration. The moving structure mark with yellow arrows proves that the lesion has started refilling at once. It is worth analyzing the video before we start with the second phase of aspiration. Now we try to remove as much as possible cystic fluid. The nodule after the removal of 7.5 milliliter cystic fluid. The nodule has substantially decreased in size but not to the extent as would be awaited after removal 7.5 milliliter fluid. The difference is explained by the refilling. 